Well, hey, how are you? Good to see you and welcome to The Lab. I'm Leo Laporte and this is the show where we're going to help you understand technology. We do it every single day and I'm glad you're here today because you're, well, you're going to be glad you're here today because we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to learn some great stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Kate Abraham. Hello. I'm the, the lady of the clipboard. Indeed. Sir King Arthur had a sword from the Lady of the Lake. I get a clipboard from the Lady of the iMac. It's a modern thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not the King of England, so, you know, this is good. Andre Charland is here. He's going to talk about Adobe Air, which I, th I think is very exciting. Very, very exciting. Sean Carruthers, as he mentioned, going to hack your iPod for you, your iPod Touch, put your own applications on yep. it. That's kind of neat. You were saying before that you thought, you bought a Nano. I did. I bought the new green Nano. And you're regretting this. I'm not regretting it. I just wish I'd waited and spent that little bit more money on the touch. Really? Why? Because the touch is just sexy. It's, I'll yeah. be honest. The screen's I, bigger. Absolutely. And like I found now with the whole video element to the Nano, I'm actually using it for that. Oh, and but see, so, it's such a tiny exactly, screen. Exactly. So I'm watching it. And I'm like, OK, whereas I could have gone for like, you know, for a couple of hundred dollars more, gone for the actual touch. I'm thinking like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Well, and, there's, and then some people don't like the touch because all the controls are on the screen. So with the Nano, you know, you can just, you, you don't, if it's in your pocket, yeah. you can stop it, play it, for, fast forward, turn it up. You have to actually take the touch out, go like this, and do it on the That's screen. That's part of it, though, for you me. You like that? I like that. <laughs> that interface is cool, and the whole, like, twisting it around, and, oh, love it. Well, as soon as they offer an iPhone in Canada, you just get that instead, and you'll be all, you'll, you'll, you'll be golden. With the data plan? Yeah, maybe not. Ow. Well, they'll have to do that. They'll have to do that. They'll have to solve that somehow. Hey, let's get a call on. We have lots of great callers we ready and waiting. Do. We have Christopher, and he is down the road in Vancouver in British Columbia. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Kate. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Leo. Welcome to the lab. Thank you. Let's see what's on the slab. <laughs> Little poem. <laughs> so what can I do for you today? Um, I just uh, loaded iMovie 08 on my uh, computer. Okay. And, and last year, well, a few weeks ago, I had iMovie 06, yeah. and I'm trying to do stop motion video. And with iMovie 06, I can get the images down, or the duration time down to 0 0.01 seconds, but in iMovie 08, the uh, duration time only goes down to 0 0.03 seconds. Oh, interesting. I didn't so know that. To make it uh, a smooth running video. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not. You know, I have to say I'm very, very disappointed with iMovie 08. I, I don't know about you, but it just, it doesn't do it for me. Um, I really like the old iMovie. I'm not alone because Apple still offers the old iMovie for download. So you can, you can and, and now whether they'll support it going forward, I don't know, probably not, but you can still get iMovie HD, you can download it, uh, you can use it, and it works the same as it did. Um, and the new iMovie, uh, you know, do you like the new iMovie? I, I, there's a couple things I like about it, like you can scrub through the movie clip. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool, and, and just the whole layout, it's just really neat. And, um, and, but that, that, that was the one thing um, that I wanted to do with my students was to create uh. stop motion videos and without spending the money on uh, iStop Motion. Well, that's whatever. what I was going to recommend. It's $50, but uh, this, is the, this is the best stop motion program, obviously. Because it has the overlays in there and, uh, and it takes the pictures very quickly. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, iStop Motion is so much easier to use. That's what I was going to recommend. I don't know of any way to modify the new iMovie to give you a, sl uh, you know, a faster uh, uh, frame rate to give you slower intervals. I don't really know how to do that. Um, I, I have to say, I don't use iMovie, the new iMovie, very much because I just, I, I can't get comfortable with it. I'm used to this, this old, f you know, format of having a, a timeline and dragging clips to the timeline. It just makes sense to me. Uh, we don't have the new iMovie on here yet. In fact, we really ought to get that on here, Sean, the uh, new uh, iLife. I don't think it's on here. Um, but, you know, if you look at it, it's just completely different. I guess Apple was thinking it's easier to use. Do you find your students, how old are your students? They're in high school. Okay. So do you find they find it easier to, to get the new iMovie than the old? To understand, um, well, it's the first time they're using it, so it's brand new to them. Either way, it's a, it's a mystery, huh? And what's the other neat thing about it is we're going to be putting up the videos up onto YouTube. Yeah. So it's just it's, one button click yeah. now and it's up onto YouTube. I think so that's it. a really nice feature. And actually, a lot of companies are doing that now. I know Adobe just started doing that with Premiere Elements. I guess they figure, hey, that's where most of these movies are going. We ought to make it easier to publish. Yeah. Um, I don't know of a fix for the new iMovie 8. I have no idea why they changed that. I think the, a good idea would be to contact Apple and say, look, this isn't working. 
Uh, surely you're, you're not the only one. Um, and in, in short term, I think, you know, I stop motion is, is probably a, a really good, you know, next step. Uh, you already know about it, obviously. Yeah, I'll have to get the school to pay for that. Yeah, 50 bucks, I know. There is a free demo. Have you tried it? Yeah, yeah, we got the uh, demo on the computers right now, so we're playing around with that. So. It's a much easier way. In fact, uh, my friend David oh, yeah. Pogue uh, and his son Kelly made us, you know, Kelly's like eight or nine, made a really good stop motion home movie. It was a really funny uh, video on, uh, on uh, the New York Times using I stop motion. I guess I don't want to see a New York Times ad, so I'll go back. But, um, I, I, you know, I don't know of a quick fix for you. Uh, let me see if I can delve into the, or actually call Apple, probably a better idea. I can delve into the uh, the innards of iMovie and see why. I, it's, it's, it's really strange that they changed that. And it may have something to do with what the, what the program itself is capable of. I, you know, that it, for some reason it can't go that fast. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it would be. But it's frustrating, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Christopher, I'll pass your, uh, your complaint along to Apple. All right. I appreciate your help. All right. Hey, thanks for the call. I'm sorry I don't have a better answer. And then I stop motion. Get the school to pay for it. You know, if you're going to be doing a lot of stop motion, that's the way to go. And you can still use iMovie. Uh, once you've got the pictures all captured, you can still use iMovie to edit, put titles into all that stuff, and then upload it to uh, yeah. YouTube. So it, it does fit into your workflow pretty well. And the new I stop motion, too, is, is quite good. Hey, we're going to take a break. Coming up, Andre Charlon. We're going to talk about air. It's not that kind of, not this air, Adobe Air. It's a whole new way of making the web sing. And we'll talk about it when the lab continues. It's kind of like an area. <laughs> right after this. Stay here.